All right, so today uh, we're going to take care of the gas struts that use that are used to assist in lifting all of the outside bays. So we've been working quite a bit in the bays and it's just been a constant hassle to try to either prop them up or I, there's a bungee thing I've now attached that has kind of become part of our routine is bunging this thing up and it's because um, the shocks that are on there are starting to wear out and not only that they're all different sizes so um, they're all different sizes and all different weights so here's a couple that I took off and they're not installed correctly either you can see these are bent and they're, they're different sizes here's, here's another one that was taken off um, so what we did is last week we ordered a set of um, some of the nicer ones that we had liked so the two main what we're calling the garage um, which is our main storage bay, the one bay that doesn't really have anything in it. Um, its doors open pretty nicely, and so we're trying to model them all after that. So um, what we figured out, though, is um, there's doors that are double doors that are twice as wide, and then the single doors, and you need heavier springs, obviously, for the for the for the bigger, heavier doors, and so. For those, we chose 120 pound lift, so 240 pounds um, of pressure uh, combined with each side. And then for the smaller ones, we chose uh, 80 pounds each. Now we're gonna go through and um, the brackets that were on there, there were some brackets that were homemade and these are called, um, <laughs> look these up, and they're called closed bar latches, I believe. Closed bar holders. Closed bar holders. So closed bar holders on some of them um, that are clearly, I mean, this is clearly homemade and not made very well. This one, um, they decided, these are 10 millimeter balls, we found out, and they decided to use one of this kind, which is like that. What they probably should have used was something like that. We bought these as well. Um, so these are, they just screw in, they got like a locking nut, uh, a nylon locking nut on them. So we bought a bunch of those. Um, there's 10 millimeter balls in there already. Half of them are correct because um, they're where the original latch was. So where the original latch was, um, somebody had modified that and put a, put a hole in it and then screwed in one of these and those are what we modeled it after. So we're gonna try to get all of them to match those. So by the end of this, when we're finished, we should have all the shock should be the same length. So the length of shock that we decided was the right length um, is I believe 12 inches uh, for the body when it's completely closed. And then as it stretches out, it's plus eight inches. So it's um, something like close to 20. It's like there, it's in millimeters. So, so it's like 19 point like three millimeters or something like that. No, so, 19 point. Like 19.75 inches, okay, which was 19. like... Okay, 19.75 inches, right. which is it's like 500, 500 millimeters, millimeters or something, something like, like that. that. So anyway, <laughs> we have decided that that's the size we're going to standardize on. So all the shocks will be that size, regardless of if it's a small door or a large door. And it should allow them to open up more vertically. So part of the problem is some of them open up and they only come to here. And we've hit our heads. Both of us have. Like Michelle almost got knocked out once because the umbrella was in the way. She came running over to help me and boom, surprise, there's a big door in the way. So these will raise them clear up out of the way like these are right here. You can see how high they go. And there's just less of a risk of us running into this um, than there is with this one that usually sits about right here. So there it is at maximum. So this one has got the added benefit of only having one shock. So, and it's a different size and a different way it mounts than all the others. <laughs> so anyway, it's kind of a mess, just like almost every, every other project on this bus. But that is the plan. At the end of this, we will only have to carry a couple of 80 pounds and a couple of 120 pounds, and then we should be set if something goes wrong with the shocks. Also, we're gonna line them up too so that they're not, like these are pretty, they're pretty badly bent, and when they were in there, they were worse. You could clearly see that they were bowing. So the danger in all this is, um, if we don't mount them correctly, it will rip. There's a, the, the thing that it hinges on is just this little rubber thing. And we had one where we tried to put the wrong, the, the mount was in the wrong place and it started ripping the hinge. So it's pretty important to get the, to get the math just right. So that's what we'll be working on today.
All right, so what we're thinking of using for brackets is we've got these, they're like a boom clamp it says, one and a quarter inch square steel. We got these from Tractor Supply. Um, so one of our commenters on a video said, hey, you should check out Tractor Supply for hardware. And so we did, and it was it's a pretty neat place. So we went there uh, last week. But anyway, we're thinking about using these as the, the um, as the brackets so the funny thing is it looks like they're gonna fit just about perfect so if I line them up which is a little difficult I'll get a big washer for that one but it looks like it's gonna fit just about right so the problem with this one is that this pushes it out too far so this is out too far here so if you look at it straight on you'll see that it's kind of at a it's kind of cockeyed at an angle here so anyway we're gonna try to see if we can get that to work and um, actually, this is one of the nicer brackets, but just so we kind of standardize on something, we're going to try these, see if we can get them to work. You got it? All right, so to get these to fit, we've got to drill out the top hole. So um, I measured the old one and it's 11 30 seconds, I believe. So um, we'll clamp down our little clamp because he tends to roam around and use a little bit of oil um, just to kind of save our blades or our... Next, we got to drill a hole through the center to accommodate these 5 16 inch uh, ball studs. So these are actually going to be a little too long, so we're going to have to cut these down as well. So I should have ordered some shorter ones. Um, anyway, we'll clamp this down and then we'll drill right through the center. So the nice thing about these is they're, they're not centered. So if it's too high or too low, we can kind of tweak it by turning it upside down or right side up. Um, just to kind of make it easier on the on the spring that lifts them. So, um, so we'll mark these up and get them drilled.
not gonna put it on too tight, just it's in there. So it's nice, it's about level. That looks straight this time? Yeah, look at it. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Can we take this down? So then that one, do you want to try switching that out for the other? For the other 120? 120 and we'll see. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now can we take down this? Well, in a minute, not yet. Okay. Can you grab that other strut that's over there, babe? Katya? Hold that for daddy. Do you want to put the grease in that one too? Yeah, I'll, I'll get it. You want to grab it, Katya? It's right. Nope. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. It. Yeah, sorry. Okay, Katya, you want to remove that board? Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. All right. Let's see. Yay. Wow, that's really high up. That's even higher than before. Did you get close? Yeah, that's a lot of strain. <laughs> close is right. Open without springing up too hard. Is that too much, do you think? Um, no. I think it's about right. You want to get in and see? Just make sure. Alright, so plan B with these brackets. Um, they were on there and they installed okay. The holes lined up well and we used a little washer to, because that hole is so big. Um, but what happens is it looks like the washer isn't quite enough because it it bent it just a little bit. So um, we're going to try. So I've made these little spacers um, with the exact right hole out of this uh, just steel, just metal stock. And um, so that will go on like that. And that should reinforce it enough. Um, to keep it clamped in there. So we're gonna try that and see how that works out. All right, so progress continues on the lifters for these. So what we found out was 120 was too strong. When we put them on there, like you really had to push down and then it would tend to like pop back up um, just really violently. So 80 seems to be the right number for these. Um, on the smaller doors, when we tried 80, um, again, it was just super violent. So we're gonna go with 40 pounds on these. So scrap what we said before about the 80s and 120s and it's actually 80 and 40. Um, these ones are gonna be 40. So this one, um, we had to redo this whole door because it only had one shock and it was on this side and it didn't match up with anything else. So what we did is we put these two brackets in and we put them at the same position as the other brackets were. So we measured up and we put them in the same position and then we installed these guys at about the same position that the, that the original factory ones were. So, um, they came out pretty well. Um, they look like they're working fine, so we're um, we're gonna go with that setup probably on the other door as well, um, because the other door over there has uh, mounts, but they're all 
they're all wonky like these. So we're gonna work on the other side now. Um, this side is pretty much done. So other than we need 40 pound springs for this door, that's pretty much done. So we're gonna start the other side. All right, on this one. So we just finished installing the new shocks on this one. This is our, this is gonna be our water bay. So this will have all our water fixtures and our uh, black hose and all that stuff coming out of it. So we've replaced them on this. Um, this one has, this is the one with kind of a semi bad hinge. So we've got new hinges to replace all the hinges. Um, but this one now folds up and stays up the way it's supposed to. This one would only stay up about halfway. Um, same with the one in the front. So on this one, we kept this bracket, but re-drilled a different hole up here. And then this one, we kept this bracket, but they had a bracket back here. So we standardized on those brackets there. So on the middle door, we had to move the hole that they had drilled back about an inch for it to work with the right size shock. And then we used the standard mount that was there before. On this one, we had a completely new mount because the old one was all messed up. And then we did the standardized mount on this one as well. So for the last door, um, this one had two different size shocks. So we had to completely redo this. So we did the tops, both the tops, and actually this one, the one that was the one that was there. And then on the bottom, we did the standard, our standardized one, and then we did one on this end as well. So now, all of these doors all have the same size shock. So in theory, if one of these broke, we could replace it with either one. Um, so that's that's what we're going to go with and we're going to call this project complete. As you can see, the doors go up much higher. This door used to hang out right about there. So it was super annoying to try to get in there and work and now it just goes up and stays right there. So it should make working outside just a little bit more pleasant.